Hello my loves, what is up? How y'all all doing today? Hope you're all having a great day because today we are going to be reviewing a new skill in The Sims 3. So let's just get into it. So you guys, I am super excited because in the month of June, our girl Lyra Lee on The Sims 3 mod The Sims, which I will have linked down below, um, she made a sewing kit like a sewing table and like sewing stuff and all that and our sims can now sew who else knew about this because like i didn't and i'm losing my mind all right so i'm really excited because it's very interesting how like the nifty knitting pack and the sims 4 did come out and then we got some cute little sewing stuff in the sims 3 okay like can we just talk about it like they really be the Sims 3 creators just really be spoiled. So today, us. as I said, we are going to be reviewing the sewing table and the sewing skill in The Sims 3. This um, sewing table will work as it would with any other hobby and skill. You can use a sewing table to then increase your sewing skill. You can buy books from The Sims 3 um, grocery store, whatever world you're in. It's just everything okay so let's just go ahead and get on into it all right um our girl is currently in her home and i made her a little sewing room just because i kind of wanted to show you guys like the full effect so right now my sim is in her sewing room yes i did make her a little sewing room isn't she cute this sewing table and sewing machine is so cute and it does come in many different variations so you can find this sewing machine in hobbies and skills and then once you go into hobbies and skills you'll be able to um find the sewing kit which is right here all right I keep calling it a sewing kit it's not a sewing kit a sewing machine you'll be able to find um, the sewing machine and it does come in many different colors it's super cute but you can also customize it to your liking um, I just use this one because I thought it was really nice so you can change the color of the actual sewing machine and you can also change the color of the wood that's underneath it or the table whatever and it's super super cool that you can kind of customize this sewing table to its full extent obviously you can't touch like the decorative items but even still it's really really awesome also, another thing that you get with downloading this mod is little pieces of cloth. Now, those pieces of cloth um, are already in your Sims inventory as well. So I'm going to kind of show you guys that. Um, the sewing table, if you click on it, comes with a couple of different interactions. You can start a project, practice sewing, restock fabric, or open the sewing table's inventory. So when you first get the sewing table, it automatically comes with all of these different fabrics. So from my understanding, you get six different types of fabrics, denim, knitted, leather, synthetic, satin, and cotton. And they all do come in your inventory and you get 50 of each. And it's really cool how the sewing machine already comes with this fabric, even though in your actual buy mode if you go to decor you can also purchase the fabric yourself or you can purchase it from the actual sewing machine and just restock the fabric and then you'll just restock however much you want fabric is very expensive as you can see I mean you can only get five pieces of fabric and it's 250 simoleons so you kind of have to be banking a little bit but it's also really nice that um, it already does come with the fabric and everything so you can use it if you want so right now my sim is currently at level two in the sewing skill and she is almost about to reach level three. She's kind of getting there. Now this is the sewing interaction and I think it is so cute. Um, right now she is currently working on a project and I will show you guys that whenever she finishes. Um, but she is working on a project. It does take a little bit for them to finish projects obviously um, but you do get a couple of notifications every single time that you improve so I decided to keep those on so that you guys could physically see them um, oh and actually I take that back we're at level three I don't know what I'm talking about I, I think I said level two I don't know but anyways um, so it says Mariah has just improved her sewing skill to level two sweet Mariah just got a bit better at sewing hopefully they don't give up now since there's a lot to discover in the world of sewing projects so it's really cool um, it also doesn't let you increase super fast which is really nice i mean it took her the full day to reach level three which is totally understandable um but i think it's just really cool how it takes a little bit for you to get to that point and i really really like this i don't know it's just really cute i am all about having new skills for my sims to learn and i just think it's so interesting how this was released when the sims for release their nifty knitting. I don't know if it was released the exact day, obviously, but I mean, 
it's still pretty cool. Um, I don't really know when Nifty Knitting was released. I literally, I don't pay attention to The Sims 4. <laughs> like at all but um it's just really cool so she did also work on a project before and she got an interaction where she basically she screwed up on it and it says i screwed up looks like the sewing table ate my work i guess i had to start all over again so she did have to start over and it was really interesting how that worked this would be really cool if you want to like run your own store now the only unfortunate thing is that your sims not able to make clothing they can only make like rugs and certain specific items as you increase your skill and i'll show you guys the items that we can make even though she is working on a project i mean it's going to take her forever to finish this so can we like speed it up here i mean like <laughs> we're gonna be here forever okay um but she is currently working on a project and she does have a welcome mat already so let's take a look did you end up making it um okay yeah this is the pattern this is the mat for her actual sewing kit um oh no she screwed up again <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, well, it's fine. So if we were to start a project, since she is level three, she can only make four items. And I'm pretty sure that once we reach level two, we could make the same exact items. So as you increase with your skill, you'll be able to make more things. So right now, my sim can only make a welcome mat, um, a university wall hanging thingy, I don't know, and then a flying carpet which is just like the regular carpet in the sims 3 game so i mean your sim can definitely make a lot of different things and it'd be really cool like for you to make something and then be able to gift it to someone i don't know yeah but as you get better you'll be able to make more things and kind of have more variety but right now i'm in the world of far watch and i'm actually gonna have my sim go ahead and go over to the bookstore because yes you are able to buy books as if you were, you know, doing like any regular skill. So we're going to go and see what kind of books the sewing skill comes with. So if you go to the bookstore with the world, you can scroll down and it says sewing for beginners. The required sewing skill is level um, zero. So you don't have to have any sewing skill. This is the very beginning. And it says turn noises and what to do when running out of fabric. That's so funny. Okay. And then also if we scroll down... A little more here's the other one this is help my sewing machine ate my fabric i think we definitely need that one because we're at skill level three and our sewing machine keeps eating our fabric so we definitely need that one and then this one the last one says how to train your pattern to sew themselves for real that is so funny and they're all pretty inexpensive. I mean, they're not that expensive. I mean, they're the same price for every single skill book that we have in the sims 3 so it's fine you know whatever we're just gonna go ahead and buy all of them just because i mean we already have i mean we've already passed the beginning skill level but i still think this would be really cute and i don't know it's just nice to have like another skill for your sims to be able to do because i feel like if you play the sims 3 for so long you've kind of already seen all of the skills and this is just a very nice one to experiment with so your sim can practice sewing and they're not able to actually start making projects until they reach level two i'm pretty sure so um, there's just like a couple of cute little things that we can do and I just think it's very cute as I said your sim can read books to increase their sewing skill or you could just do it the regular way now something that's also very cool is that you can sign up for a subscription to actually get patterns sent to you every single Thursday and you pay a fee of just $200 for a lifetime so it's basically like the book club um, if you guys have ever tried the book club in The Sims 3, instead of getting books sent in the mail, you'll get sewing patterns sent in the mail, which is <laughs> so cute. So we're going to go ahead and actually get a computer really quick so we can actually test that out and see how it works. So um, I don't really know. Maybe I could just get a laptop. I feel like we should be able to do that because she can just deal with it on the floor. Can we not do that? Ugh, do we have to get a desk? I just don't have the time. Okay. We'll get a desk then. Let's just put it in here and we're just gonna, sorry if the lighting is like not that great in this room. I did not um, put enough lighting in here, but anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and put in a little desk chair. Let me go and I'll just get a regular computer. It doesn't even matter. And then we're just gonna put a chair right here and she's gonna go 
and let's see what we can do. So I missed something. There's actually two different things that you can do on the computer. You can join the Pattern Club or you can browse the internet about sewing. And I'm pretty sure that that will just increase your sewing skill as well. Let me go ahead and put some extra lights in here. I'm sorry, you guys. It's going to bother me because um, you like, can't see anything. Let's do these lights because I really like these and I just feel like they're easy peasy. All right. Anyway, so she's going to come in here, and first things first, I'm actually going to have her browse about sewing because I wonder if doing that will increase her sewing skill because that would be very, very cool if it did, but I guess we'll see. We're going to take a little gander and see if it'll increase our skill here. Um, if the skill thing doesn't come up, then I'm guessing not. All right, so then we can only browse the web. It doesn't increase your skill or anything. I mean, you can still do it, um, but it just won't increase your skill. So we are going to join the Pattern Club, and it says, Would you like to join the Not-So-Secret Pattern Club? If you do, you'll be able to get patterns every Thursday. All you have to do is pay a lifetime fee of $200. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it already take or. $200, 200 simoleons. It took 200 simoleons out of our um, thing automatically. And it says, nice. I can't wait to see these patterns in my mailbox. Hopefully I'll get some great ones on Thursday. That's really, really cool. They're like, you can get patterns sent to your mailbox. I think that's really cool because it's also very convenient. You don't have to spend a lot on restocking your fabric and you'll just kind of get a certain amount of um, sewing things sent to you, which is really, really cool. So we're going to go ahead and pay our bills really quick. But that is, oh, she's stuck, y'all. She's stuck. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. So that is the sewing skill from Lyra Lee on Mod The Sims. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this amazing skill and if you've seen it before or if you are planning to actually download it yourself and get to experience the sewing skill. I'm definitely keeping this in my game because it is so, so cute and I just love another amazing skill. Like it's just so cute. Also, we do get to have like stuff in our skill journal and everything. I don't think it's very advanced as like the sims team i'm not really sure because i haven't explored this skill to its full but i definitely will be doing so i just got to think of a sim that would like to do this like i can't think of anybody from any of my let's plays or anything but hey we definitely going to keep it in our game thank you so much for the beautiful mod creator that blessed us with this amazing content okay you killed it and i'm very very happy very happy as a sims 3 summer i'm just very happy so as i said let me know what y'all think in the comments i love you guys so very much hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all wednesday with another new video bye guys a secret yeah i promise i keep it Baby